All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another StarCraft II replay cast. Today it's a one versus one on Prion Terraces between our purple Protoss player, Cloudy, and our red Zerg player, Hyun. And we are going to speed this up to the 8x mark, to the two-minute point of the game, when all the units come out and all the good stuff starts to happen. I always like to say purple Protoss as well. It just flows so well. Purple Protoss. You can say it ten times fast, and it's just oh so smooth. Quick expand there for the Protoss double gate start. And I'm going to start busting out the Adept. And an Adept from the other one. And going to chrono boost the second gateway so that the Adept gets out about the same time as the first one does. And Zerg already going strong there on the gold minerals in the expansion. And the Overlord's going to spot this double gateway. And we'll know that there's probably going to be some aggressive play coming here soon. The Adept's going to ghost on forward. And more Adepts are on the way. And Zerg already expanding again before the Protoss even makes it to the base there. It's going to spot this second hatchery and know what's going on there. Protoss is going to know that if he just plays a bit aggressive, should be able to mess up the economy of the Zerg here. And are the Adepts going to transfer away? I did see them transfer up into the main base, and there they go just now. And going to be a little too late. I'm going to lose both Adepts there, but did kill a decent amount of drones, at least uh, four or so. Units lost, nine units lost total there for the Zerg in that engagement. A little bit more than the Protoss in that one. And Mothership Core on the way, and Resonating Glaives for the Adepts. Gateways are coming on out. And additional gateways coming up for the protest as well. But uh, the Zerg goes on any longer unattended. The amount of resources coming in will be quite vast very soon. The double rich mineral field expansion. Adept's going around the corner here. I'm going to appear there. There is a Zergling just chilling out on the ground. And the Adept's kill that real quick there. Not too big of a deal. Zergling holding the Zeldnaga Tower on the bottom. And just randomly placed throughout the map here to see wherever the Protoss is going. And going to see everything the Protoss is doing right now. And we'll know to defend the bottom side of this expansion quite soon. Queen's already getting in position there. And the Zerglings are on the way. That is a lot of bad depth at the moment. A Spore Crawler's coming up as well. But uh, the wrong type of defense at the moment. And the Adepts do huge damage to this expansion. And one of them does not survive. And takes out a Queen there. But now a lot of Zerglings are on the way. Take out all of these adepts, not really going to be able to make it out of there. Maybe one or two might be able to ghost transfer away. And he does transfer to the other expansion here. And we'll get him another drone kill or two from that. I'm going to make a score crawler with that one to survive and then cancels it. Not a bad attack there. Now the Zerg down lower than the Protoss. 44 units lost, so many, many drones there. It was a fairly useful attack, and now even more Adepts on the way. And we have Phoenix that will be arriving shortly thereafter. And this Zergling really has got to go there. And it's just giving away the Adepts moving to the base. And there go the drones in preparation for that. And should be able to get this uh, little last one lingering there. I'm going to try and chase him down. Kick at the 
queen here. One more volley there against the queen. And the roach will fall. And one more. Oh, and he doesn't quite get it. And I was going to transfer into the expansion once again here for a possibility. And nothing much going on there. And besides against that with the massive amount of roaches that are incoming, roach is going to follow that ghost trail. And they do take the transfer this time. It's another queen and even more drones going down. And really nice adept play, just not quite being handled very well by Hyun right now. And now in the main base, and some Phoenix are on the way to add insult to injury here. And gonna start taking out some of these overlords, because why not? And now all the adepts have been crushed. There are still some more back at base. And there goes another overlord. And that's two or three overlords so far. Another Phoenix on the action now. And another one arrives. Takes out the queen there. And the overlords can continue to get beat down here. Gotta pick up this queen here and finish that off. That's only take it for like a volley there as he was that queen. She was very, very low on health. And some drones gonna fall down, but there's a spore crawler there whacking away at the Phoenix, so they back out from there. And the roaches were gonna attack the main base there, but I think too many adepts, so they decided against that. Gonna be moving back to the base, but unfortunately the roaches not gonna be able to do anything to help out here. The spore crawler firing on the Phoenix. Drones going down, 92 units lost for the Zerg right now. So very excellent play with the Adepts coming out that fast. The Rhythmating Glaives being upgraded that fast as well. So by the time the second hit of Adepts came along, they had those Resonating Glaives to take out those drones even faster. And now with a follow-up of Phoenix, after his opponent just tried to get Roaches to deal with those Adepts. But now the... Hydra and Roach combination is in place. A little bit harder to deal with, but so many Adepts are about to come to the base there. And that's some of the most Adepts I've seen in a higher-end replay to date. Although I've certainly seen quite a bit, but uh, that, is a, that is a good hearty chunk of Adepts. Going to go forward here and attempt to get in there, but I don't think he's going to take that one. That one might not be a wise idea, and he does. But he does get on the other side with the Phoenix there, and that was a pretty good play there. And it's actually going to work out fairly well. But it's going to lose a lot of adepts in the process, and the Zerg will lose a lot in the process. But I don't think in the end it was the greatest idea. He did take out quite a bit. But it ended up putting his adepts in way too close to those roaches and the very, very high DPS of the speedy uh, Hydralisk. And more adepts ready to go again. And now the units lost have 118 lost for the Zerg. But now the resource is starting to catch up a little bit. I think that adept push that he just did was not really particularly efficient. Although a good idea to get in the back of there. But it just sort of placed himself way too close. I think he should have just canceled that, let those units go all the way back, and then just started walking up into the main base, and then juke them out again in another way. And now taking some damage there from the Spore Crawler out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, gotta get himself a quick clean kill. Overlords, take a little bit of the Wrath there as well. And any other queens, don't see any. And Spore Crawler. Oh, no, the queen was hidden under the overlords. Overseer taking a bit too much damage there, and now the Protoss expands in the middle at the blue minerals. And another queen should fall here. No, he cancels to get away from the massive amount of Hydralisks incoming. And a another tumor maybe here might be nice to cover that in now. It's covering in now. A little bit of gaps in creep coverage there for those hi uh, hi uh, hydralists. Oh my, talking is apparently really hard today. 
and the adepts spawn in the middle of everything again. But there is a lurker in the midst of it all and was devastating those adepts, but it was just too much. All of the economic damage done to the Zerg with those quick adepts was very, very nice. Really like that. And with the follow-up of Phoenix, I think it was just really a perfect combination with the advent of all of the roaches to deal with the to deal with the adepts, the uh, Phoenix for some time there until he got Hydralis were went around unabated and were immune to just about everything except for a couple of spore crawlers around, but that wasn't really enough to stop 10, 12 Phoenixes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I'll see you guys next time.